My name is Milana Georgieva and I'm an associate professor at the Institute of Molecular Biology at the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences. I serve as guest and lead editor at special issues focus on aging and chromatin biology at a couple of scientific journals and very often I serve as an independent reviewer for many of them. As a scientist and a person who has come through all the steps of the academic career, I may assure you that from the very beginning of my scientific career, after the graduation of my bachelor's, I didn't know very well the difference between the thesis and the dissertation. Well, we didn't have a curriculum or a subject during our university studies that allowed us to understand the difference, but it seemed and after that proved to be very crucial to know the differences because because of these differences you can decide on how you can prepare your bachelor and master thesis and how you're going to prepare your dissertation for your doctoral studies after that. And from this last sentence, you can sense the difference between the thesis and the dissertation. The thesis is a scholarly, critically written piece of academic work, which is prepared at the end of our bachelor's and our master's degrees. And this particular piece of academic work should be written in an academic language, but it should be definitely um, well reflected through the academic level on which we are. So for the bachelor and for the master, the high academic language is not that necessary, but it's necessary the neat and clean way of expressing scientific ideas and also the way to show that the student know how to look for, how to use, how to cite and how to analyze scientific literature. And also the thesis is structured on a specific subject in which the bachelor student or the master student is defending his or her degree. And it also reflects other authors' results mainly in order to show the knowledge of the subject of the student. We should know that the science is generally around 60, 80 pages, no more, even less. Depends how we structure our thought and how we lay our thoughts in the work after that. But note this, that this difference between the thesis and the dissertation is very important. And every PhD student, after a certain period of research, own research, under the guidance of his or her supervisor, has to write and defend a thesis, doctoral thesis, which is exactly the synonym of the dissertation, which is much different from the master and bachelor thesis. Why it is different? First, because we are on a higher educational and academic level, we are about to obtain our PhD. Second, it should reflect mainly our own results, which is very important to prove that we can already act and participate in research work as an independent scientist, as scientist that can use and analyze scientific literature, can set up his own goals and research tests, can draw strong thesis statements which after that with different experimental approaches different materials methods and also ideas he or she can defend her thesis statement can find meaningful results and can present them in a neat and understandable way for the reader the dissertation is much lengthier it can reach 200 pages depending on what you have to input in it but definitely it begins with an introduction part and after that it begins with a part which is very important and this part is the research our aims and research tasks, which are the main cornerstone in the dissertation around which after that the whole experimental approaches, materials and methods are described and in a very detailed way and also our results, which is mainly the bigger part of the dissertation where we show our results and our experimental knowledge through the whole years of doctoral studies, which is very important to know that three years four years, 
three years and a half is a long time in which we should have gathered a lot of data and the challenging thing is to try to interpret this data and present them in the most beautiful way so the reader and our peers and reviewers to be able to understand to to discuss and after that to review our work and after that the the dissertation has a discussion part which is very important like the discussion part in the research paper because it shows the ability of the doctoral candidate the phd candidate that he or she can discuss his or her own results in the light of the existing results in the literature can also discuss and, and draw hypotheses for future work and set up future scientific goals which is which is very important so think about these two pieces of academic work as something pretty different yet containing the same structure introduction materials and methods discussion results and so on and so on but in the dissertation the spotlight the the main focus is on our own results and the way we discuss them in the light of the scientific literature that is already existing around and in europe this difference between the thesis and the dissertation is very well retained and the difference is made clearly from the very beginning of our scientific and academic career while some places around the world this difference can be just blurred a bit and the doctoral dissertation can be also called a PhD thesis which is not a mistake it's just another way of expressing this type of scholar academic work that we write at the end of our PhD